Hi, welcome. This is Plasma you are looking at. And the topic of the video is the stuff we get on CTOs, on SourceForge, because yes, the release of Outlinks 20.1 is a fact. And the next video is going to be all about this article here. That's about what changes. So on Outlinks, we have a monthly release and we show you two things, a release video, for the new things and the keep rolling. How to not install, but how just to update and keep things the same as on the ISO, right? That's the idea. Okay, so there is something very specific that's changed in the builds. So when you are an Articlinux B builder, and then you go this website and follow the knowledge that's on there, then you have an output as an ISO and the ISO is these days accompanied with, uh, here it is, accompanied with all these kind of things, checksums and ISOs and package lists, and you can see them here. So what's going on? So assuming we want to download something here, you could, you don't need to, but you have the freedom to get these four guys. This one just provides you the content of the ISO, but maybe that's interesting because maybe you want to know What's the difference between this one and this one in packages? So we can see, you see already in size 1.6 and 1.9, but in packages you can analyze and analyzing two files together with each other is melt. That's the thing for you to use. Okay, so that's the packaging list. The checksum is a um, way to see if the ISO has been tampered with or not. Tamper to tamper has been corrupted. Has been is broken in some way, right? If some hacker got hold of it and changed it. So what you need to know for need to have, uh, assuming that you want the ISO, okay, click, save, do this automatically. Um, yep. Okay, save, that's good. So that's downloading, actually a very fast speed indeed. So seat host is great. Good service in Amsterdam. In Europe, of course, it's a good service. And then we have the other files. We have this file that we're gonna download. I think we can click this one. Yeah, we can click this one. It's only the other one that you can't click because then it says, let's open it. So here we say, right mouse click, save link as, save. And then we go to article Linux info, to the downloads, download ISOs, because this is where basically I clicked, right? And then you go down here and it says, can I, can I check the integrity of the medium? Sure, you can. Now I'm not navigating to SourceForge. Uh, you see here the button, the, the button I or info. So if you click on it, you get all the numbers you, uh, you need and you compare them with the file you just downloaded and then you know. So maybe it's a little bit diff more difficult if you do this thing here. So let's move this out of the way. Super Shift Enter. Control H in my downloads folder. So here we have now several things. We can do the checksum. Let's do that one first. It contains a lot of things. Info. You go up here and I need a terminal. The terminal needs to be opened in the same, whoops, in the same uh, folder, right? So ls. If I type here ls, then you'll see the content of the folder, of course. Now we're gonna run some things. It says here that the SHA one sum is something. We can start typing SHA tap tap. Oh, look at this. I have this thing. Okay, and then you point to the right file, which is your ISO. You wanna check is the ISO the same? This thing should be exactly the same thing as that thing. Now check the first four and check the last four and it'll probably be good, right? Not gonna check everything. 
it will be diff totally different if it's tampered with. The other one is SAH256 sum, and again, of course, the ISO. Seven three five eight. So this guy, here it ends. Seven five three eight, one five seven F seven, one five F seven. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Said it wrong. It's correct. And then the last one, MD five. Sum is for Arch Linux ISO, obviously, and it should end in eight. D72, 8D72. So, and the first four are correct as well. So, everything in between will probably be good as well. You check it out. It is. So, that's a way to see is the medium that's online. That I have, I have the ISO on my PC. It goes online on Seedhost, on SourceForge. It gets there again checked. And again, you check it on your system. So it can't go wrong. Okay, it's the exact same ISO that I have, that you have. And that's the point of all the exercises, that we have the same ISO. And then uh, the last thing, let's go back to here. How to verify GPG key of official ISOs is a little bit more complicated. Some things to copy paste and then it's okay, right? Let's get rid of this. I don't need this anymore, so this can move over here. It means you need to check. We're talking about this file. This file is this this one actually has been signed and has given has uh, received a different kind of file. Let's open it. Let's show so we see what it is. Okay, we get this gibberish but not for GNU PG, right? So that's not gonna be gibberish. So GPG, first of all, we need to import the key. And that is a problem in the sense of firewalls, countries blocking ports and things like that, right? Also internet service providers, where you get your internet, that guy who blocks things. But anyway, try with this one. And that's my key. So control C. Control shift V. Try to get it in. I deleted my GNU PG directory, so it has been created again. And I have, I myself have problems. You see, server indicated a failure. I know, it's uh, my internet service provider. I do it with this link, with HKPS and then 44, uh, 443, so the port number, Control C, Control Shift v then my system normally knows huh there it is so he went to the internet so it's not locally it went to the internet somewhere found the name found the key says that's the key that's when it was created and then it's going to expire and it's number one do you want to have it yes no next quit so enter number yes one so you get in the key of eric so I have signed the ISO, you know now my key. Now you can check if it's correct. Now you check this thing. At this point in time, of course, the numbers are the same at eh? 20.1.4, but next, in February, next ISO, it will be 20.2 and you change the number. So Control Shift V, you say GPG, verify me this sick thing that we have downloaded here. Okay. And it's going to compare. And don't mind this thing. These two lines is not important. The thing is that it says good signature. That's important. If you just um, try it with another file, if you mixed mix these things up and you compare the SIG with Arch D, so that's not the same. Then you get bad signature. So that's the thing. You need to get this line here, good signature. And again, you see that it's from Eric and it's signed from Eric. So if you see this, then it's okay, right? Good. This is something else. This is not important for us. 
All right, that's it for me. Um, if, 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 let's make this bigger. If you still do not get past your country blocks and, and internet server problems and firewalls and whatever, then the Arconix people can also do this. The Arconix key is also on your own system. We've put it there. All you have to do is Control Shift V. Let's um, clean it up. I'm gonna clean Control H. I'm gonna get rid of the key that I just imported in GNU PG. We have here all the information. It's gone. I delete it again. So you see what the import does. Okay. So I'm importing it again. And it says, okay, Eric is here. And again, we have these GNU PG creation and Eric's key has been imported. And again, arrow up, arrow up. I can verify. You get the same message, of course. Good signature from Eric Dubois. That's all you need to know. And it's mine. You know, this ISO comes from me. And that's all what it's all about. It's about this um, feeling of safety that the file we put online is not been changed, not been tampered with in the process somewhere, in the uploading or anywhere. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, enjoy Arco Linux and um, soon I'll put out the video about the release article, the new stuff that's available in the 20.1 edition.